Hey Brad. Hi Brad. Hey Brad. Hi Brad. Hi Brad. Hi Brad. You know. I don't feel pretty right now. All right, you guys, I just got sent the first submission video for this makeover series. Her name is Isabella. She looks so cute and adorable, and I cannot wait to see what she's all about in this video, and let's see what's going on with her hair. Let's do it. Let's open the video. Hi, Brad. Um, my Hi. name is Isabella, and Hi, Isabella. I'm sending in this video to be a possible candidate she's for so a hair makeover that you're doing. Oh, I love um, her. Let me just first start off by saying I love your channel. You're no, very, very funny. Thanks, You're very, very talented, and I've seen a lot of makeovers that you've done. Never really liked my hair. I mean, I like it. I think but it's I don't pretty. I really like it. I wish it could be better. Oh, it's girl, always I got been you. very flat and very, very greasy and very, very oily. And when I was younger, a lot of people would tease me for it. Not so much now, but. I think her hair looks would great. People because my hair used to be frizzy a lot. A good frizzy, canvas to was, work with. Yeah. I just never really had a positive view of my appearance when I was a kid because I was bullied a lot for it. Yeah. Um, especially because I have a rare physical birth defect that only allows me to have three oh, fingers wow. on my left hand, but getting through. It left me with a lot of body issues growing oh. up. I didn't really trust a lot of my friends. I only thought that they were hanging out with me because, I don't know, they took pity on me and they still viewed me as ugly and not good enough and stuff like that. But. Isabella, I can tell you, I don't know your friends, but I feel like that's not true, okay? That's just your insecurities probably telling you that. I don't want this to be a sob story video and anything like that. I just, I've always wanted to do something with my hair that I liked. Oh, we're gonna do something. And though. whenever I try to go what to other to hairdressers, none of them really listen to me. So I figured getting a really cool hair makeover by you would be absolutely amazing first of all and it would maybe give me the kickstart that i need to oh, yeah. you know start seeing myself in a more positive light and stuff like that i guess we'll see what happens bye bye see this is what makeovers are all about to me people underestimate how good a new hairdo can make you feel and how it can jumpstart your life and how it can change a lot of things. It can change the way other people in life perceive you. It can change how you perceive yourself. And sometimes inner healing starts with a new look on the outside. So I cannot wait to get my hands on Isabella's hair. <sighs> this is gonna be such an epic makeover. I cannot wait to get to know her better. She seems like such a genuine, cool, down to earth girl. I can't wait. Let's do it. When I was a kid, I just, I never really felt pretty because I was bullied a lot because I have um, a birth defect on my left hand. I only have three fingers on it. So it was really hard to develop a sense of self-confidence, but through people that I surrounded myself with and through experiences that I had, it shaped me as a person and I learned how to love myself. And sometimes doing makeovers kind of reinvigorates that feeling and it makes you feel like, wow, this is me, I love myself. I get to do this and I am beautiful and this is me. So that's what it meant. Do not listen to what anybody says about you. Their opinions do not matter. Be yourself, do what you wanna do, look how you wanna look. And if people try and tell you that you're doing the wrong thing or that, that they don't like you or you're not right, you're not perfect, do not listen to them because they don't know what they're talking about. You live your truth and you be whoever you wanna be because you're you and you get to be whoever you wanna be, no matter what other people say. All right, Isabel, are you ready? What's going on? What are we know, doing? Man. I don't even. A little beach vibe. It's been like I tried to have an ombre. I've tried to have highlights. My hair has been bleached, damaged. It's like been through the ringer. Love it needs, good bleached. It needs <laughs> Jesus. It needs you <laughs> or Brad Lano. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so we're doing your hair. We're doing your makeup. We're gonna do a little wardrobe switch later. I'm we're so gonna excited. do a little interview action. Are you ready for all this? Absolutely. All right, you guys. We're gonna get started. Let's do it. Welcome to my chair. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> so, 
Let's get into this. Oh, God. Walk me through what's going on right now, everything that you've right done. Right now, um, I wanted an ombre. My hairdresser just did bleach, 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 bleach. It was uh -huh. incredibly damaged. And then last December, we cut all of it off and then just did like some highlights and they're less damaged than they were before. I really don't think it looks bad. It could be way better. Yeah. So what's off limits? Anything? Uh, shaving and cutting too much length off. That's it. Okay. But color wise. Go free. Go free. Yes. Don't tell me that. I'm down for anything, really. That's okay. like me. I'm down for anything. Amazing. All right. Well, it's gonna be a lot different. That's for sure. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna we're gonna definitely do a lot with this. Yay. I wish I could tell you, but you know what? You have to wait till the end. Uh, Let me put a cape on you, and sure. we're gonna get started. Okay. Fun. Okay. So Isabella was totally giving me pink hair vibes, major pink hair vibes. Like I could just sense it. Her energy was like, give me pink hair. I love pink hair. So okay. <laughs> And I live for it. I, ugh, it took years to build up, so. Where does that come from? When I was in third grade, I wanted to play the violin for the school orchestra, uh -huh. and I went and the teacher said, oh, you'll never play the violin. It's, what? Yeah, she was referring to my Wait, hand, because I couldn't, I didn't have, the strings? And, apparently. I Did you ever like, play it? Yeah, I cried for like 30 minutes, and then that night I went to a music school, and they said, we're gonna teach you, and I, came back That's... to you let me in and I played and I was one of the best students. This girl has overcome so much in her life, even though people told her she couldn't do certain things, like play the violin, but she did it and she was like, screw you guys, I can do whatever I want. That's where all that confidence comes from. It was, it took a while to build up. I look like I have confidence and I'm like most insecure person. You, you can, can be, be insecure confident. and confident. Yeah. I'm insecure Maybe and confident. I'm, I'm insecure and confident. Yeah. People, that maybe look as confident as me still have issues like that. So Isabella, thank you for teaching me that, reminding me of that, because I need a lot of reminding when it comes to loving yourself, that's for sure. I was kind of curious how light I could get her hair with lightener. From the looks of it, she didn't have any color in her hair, but sometimes people lie, okay? So thankfully her hair lifted super nicely. So that means my pink hair dreams are gonna be a reality for Isabella. I hope she likes it. I'm I'm a little scared. Um, this is a huge change. She's never had pink hair before. It's gonna be quite a shock. I'm scared. <laughs> so I just finished Isabella's hair. Her color is done, her cut is done. She's blow dried. She's ready to get styled, but on to the best, well, the second best part. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the second best part right here. <laughs> the uh, frosting on the cake, the makeup. Okay, so we have Selena back for more makeup. So Selena, if you want to take it away. Yes, do of your course. Thing. Perfect, so let's turn you around and let's get started. Yeah. Oh my God, I get so nervous for this part. Like, I am so scared what she's gonna think of her hair. Ah! <laughs> this is a huge change and I'm scared she's gonna like freak out on me. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, I love it so much. I'm gonna cry. Are you gagged? I'm literally gagged. This pink though? Oh my God, I'm living for it. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so relieved that she loves her hair and she wasn't like shocked out of belief because that's like my worst fears. Like I pull the thing down and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so good. And they're like, you, what do you do to me? <laughs> Let's hope that never happens. Oh, oh. 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 
Oh my wow. god, I love you it. You look stunning. You look beautiful. Look at oh this my makeup. God. I'm crying. How do you feel about the Holy makeup? Shit. You like it? I love it, and I love how it's like darker up uh -huh. here. <laughs> she was so willing to do anything to her hair, so I I knew that she would be open to it. But I'm just so happy that she loves it. What do we do with the makeup? Tell For us. The makeup. Well, I knew that you guys were gonna do pink, but I wasn't really sure how it was gonna play it out. So we did some more warmer tones in your eyes just to keep the age down. And then we <laughs> added some blinding. nude lip. Nude lips are always just very natural. They're always a very very beautiful touch, especially because we already have so much going on on the hair. Okay, I'm dying, I'm like, living. Oh my god. A goddess pink Barbie moment? Are you joking? I think we went there. We went there. <laughs> we, we went, went there, we evicted everyone, and now I am the mayor. <laughs> Alright, let's go get you changed and let's go see your friends and family and see what they think. Ah! Let's do it. Okay. <gasps> oh. oh my god, I was right. I forgot I was. <laughs> do you like it? Oh my god, oh my god. Are you so are you hot? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> So how was your experience? It today? was, wow. I felt like a VIP <laughs> celebrity. I felt like I was taken care of. It was absolutely amazing. Oh honey, you were taken care of. Absolutely, I was taken <laughs> care of. Do you feel like any different about yourself? Like do you feel like more confident? I mean, you're already so confident. I'm already confident, but it's like, it's more. It's even more. <laughs> okay. it's, we don't it's, need that. <laughs> the, it broke. We're screwed now. <laughs> It broke the level. I'm just, I don't know. I just feel great about myself. I mean, I feel great about myself, but this just makes me feel, like I said before, reinvigorated and yeah. like I'm ready. Like, who is you feel this? Feel brand new. Now. I'm brand new. Oh, I had such an amazing day. Spending this time with Isabella really changed me and. Thank you, Isabella, for just reminding me to love myself more and reminding the world to love themselves more. Just spreading positivity and coming on here and just being so brave to share everything with me. Just thank you so much. So that is one girl down. Isabella's makeover is complete. She feels so good about it. She loves it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. Let me know what you guys think about Isabella's makeover. She rocks the pink, thank God. I knew she would, but you know, there's that little part of me that's like, oh my god, what if she can't rock it? But she rocked it. <laughs> I love it. Six more makeovers to go. I hope you guys are here for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you guys think down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because like, it's only gonna get more lit from here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BradMondoNYC. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.